Well, good morning. Thank you for staying with us here on Fox Weather First. We were just having chatting time. <laughs> Anytime Janice is in the studio, I'm the happiest person because we get plenty of time to catch up. I always think that we should have a show during the commercials just to be like a bird's eye. I think America eye, would like that. What we're talking about. <laughs> Maybe not, though, sometimes. It might get us into trouble. It might. Uh, but you know what? Today's a really special day because the majority of our country spends today observing Veterans Day ahead of the actual holiday because this year it's falling on a weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, this is something that, of course, is close to my heart because I do come from a military family. But there's also a lot of resources and groups across America that do support veterans. And I know that you have a deep connection to Team Rubicon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Team Rubicon, I met them a few years ago. Uh, Jake Wood it, was in the military, uh, in the Army, and decided after his service there, he wanted to give back. Mm -hmm. So he came up with this wonderful organization called Team Rubicon uh, that recruits members of the military, uh, first responders after their service uh, to help others, you know. Um, so I was in 2018 in the Houston area for Hurricane Harvey, the after effects. A lot of mm -hmm. people obviously were flooded. Uh, and Team Rubicon s swooped in uh, with their crew and helped people that normally wouldn't be able to rebuild, right? A lot of people have flood insurance. Mm -hmm. These people did not in Louisiana. Uh, so Team Rubicon is somebody that prides themselves in you know, uh, making sure that people after their service have a place to go to feel like they are still mm -hmm. doing what they love to do, and that is helping others. It's really a dual mission. You know, you're, you're serving the veteran that very much might be looking for that brotherhood, that sisterhood that they no longer have on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And then you're utilizing a skill set that is so unique. I yes. mean, when you look at people that serve our country, they are everything you need in a natural disaster. They can mm -hmm. prioritize. They can work with time management skills. Yes. And they also have the brute strength. It is incredible. So take a little bit of a look at the journey Janice has had with Team Rubicon. There were over 200,000 structures impacted across Texas with Harvey. Everyone else goes on with their own lives, but these people, some of them are still waiting to get into their homes. We're 365 days later, and it's really important for people across America to understand that this recovery is still happening yep. a year later, and it'll still be happening next year. It'll be still be happening the year after that. Tell us how Team Rubicon came to be. Our primary focus is recruiting military veterans to do disaster response work. I was in the Marine Corps. I started it with another Marine. And eight years later, we've got about 85,000 volunteers across the country responding to disasters. I have to correct myself. He's with the Marines, not the Army. And I know there's a rivalry between the two. <laughs> Especially on football games. Yes, <laughs> so we will we'll lay it straight there. But they're all the, a fabric of our country, yes, right, for absolutely. their service. And, and they're all in it together for the right reasons. Yeah, so Team Rubicon, we want to wish you a happy Veterans Day. I also want to wish a happy Veterans Day to my family. Uh, we have someone that represents all five branches of the military. Uh, my husband was active duty five years in the Coast Guard. This is our wedding photo. Uh, so to my husband, thank you for your service. Following around our country was an honor for me. That's my dad. Aww. He is a retired colonel in the United States Air Force. And I. it would take too long to list everybody. So to my family, I'm just picking out Kevin. Kevin, Dad, but please know that all of you mean so much to me, and I'm incredibly proud to be a part of our family, and I hope that all of you have a happy Veterans Day. I know that we won't be together tomorrow, but we definitely will be together in spirit. And to my dad, my dad mm -hmm. served in the U.S. Uh, Air Force, and to my father-in-law, who's both of them no longer with us, but also served in the Air Force. In so, our hearts every day, yes, for sure. Absolutely. You what have are we an holding opportunity. Here? Yes, this is your opportunity to get involved. Uh, QR code is going to come up in a couple minutes, so we're going to make it easy. You can just scan. But we have this awesome gear. Look I'm going to try not to ruin the hair. We have people that will help with that. Exactly, we do. <laughs> but this is a wonderful opportunity for you to really help veterans. If you can imagine, you have been trained very much so to live in a certain type of setup and then you are thrown into normal civilization. So veterans sometimes they struggle with homelessness, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of challenges and we have an amazing opportunity to support Make Camo Your Cause. It's a, campa a campaign that raises money to help veterans make that transfer and to ones that feel like they've been left behind. You are not left behind. So grab your phone, scan it, you can get this awesome gear and what a great way. I mean we have Hanukkah coming up, we have Christmas coming 
coming up to give a gift that is giving a gift to someone else. Oh, that's a great idea. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Veterans Day Parade across the country. There are several of them. Looking good here in New York City. Temperature is in the low 50s with lots of sunshine. So it's going to be a great day for the parade. And make sure that you honor our veterans by saying thank you for your service. And you can also buy this awesome swag. And it's a super soft t-shirt. I know that's what you're it's thinking. It's very soft. It's very soft, so go buy it. Uh, Craig, you have family members that served in the Marines. Oh, uh, you all look fantastic. My father was a U.S. Marine. My stepfather was in the Navy. My stepsister served 20 years in the Navy, uh, retired nice. Navy as well. And my great uncles also served. So thanks Aww. to all of our families and all of their service, right? And like you said, Janice, when you see someone out there, say thank you. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes. That's it. And it makes their day. It really does. And they've made our day. They've made our country. Great to see you on the hat looks fantastic. So does the uh, mug out there. That's <laughs> amazing. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.